no he querido seguir, pero ni modo, digo. Hello. Are you practicing? Yeah. Yes, you're practicing English. <laughs> Eso me encanta. Juana está dando la clase. Muy bien, gracias, Juana, teacher. por apoyar. Hello, class. No, right. Look, lo siento, eh, tuvimos un problema con el usuario de Zoom, con mi clase anterior, entonces me retrasé tres minutos en iniciar la clase con ellos. Por eso tuve que dar la clase tres minutos más, pasada las nueve. Pero aquí estoy. Les vamos a recompensar estos minutitos que me he tardado en ingresar. Pero aquí estamos, aquí estamos. Clase, I'm really happy to see you. Thank you so much for being on time. Qué bueno, ya los tengo a todos. Bueno, no, solo 18 students. Well, 19. ¿Qué pasó con el resto de la clase? ¿Dónde están? Here we go. So, tell me, how was your weekend? Was it a good weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su weekend? ¿Qué hicieron? Class. Me siento sola. ¿Qué hicieron en su weekend? Homework. Homework. Okay. Homework. In my case, I went to visit my family and I went to visit the, the park. Which park? What park? What is the name of the park? ¿Cómo se llama el parque? Jorge. The name is Ex Cuartel El Zapote. Ah, I have been there. Ex Cuartel El Zapote. House President. Uh -huh. It's a very big park. Yo he estado ahí muy bien. Es muy bonito, la verdad. Very nice park. Okay. So, thank you for sharing. Gracias por compartir. So, I already have 19 students, cameras on all the time, and write your full name. No se olviden de escribir su nombre completo. Clase, we are starting week number three. Ya vamos por la semana tres, que rápido, el tiempo se va muy rápido. No se olviden que tenemos cuatro semanas. Ya vamos por la tres, class number nine, this one. So, for today, we are going to have some vocabulary related to food. Let me start with the first video and then I'm going to check the attendance list. Tal vez se conectan los demás. Si no, pues, vamos ahorita. First video from the class. Section number four. It's a very nice topic, okay? Very nice topic. Here we go. Let me show you. Okay, here we go. Everybody, welcome. Aquí estamos. Look. This is the vocabulary for today. Section number four, broccoli is good for you. Do you like broccoli class or you don't? Do you like broccoli or don't? I yes. like broccoli. You like broccoli? Yes, right? Yes. Especially in Chinese food. Ahí me encanta. Cuando compramos Chinese food, wow, it's delicious. So, who likes? Who doesn't like? ¿A quién le gusta? Yes, to me, like with cream. Ah, okay. Excellent. So, broccoli, broccoli. So, that is the topic or the name from section number four. Broccoli is good for you. We're going to have for today food vocabulary. This is session number nine, and don't forget my name, Elena Argit. Okay. So, what are we going to do right now? Let's go because we're going to watch the first video. Veamos, first video. Aquí estamos listos. We are ready. Bien, ya puedo ver algunos que se unieron a la clase. Ahí estamos. Bien. Look, this is the first video. Four. Point one. And it's a lot of vocabulary. Mucho vocabulario que practicar. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening 
and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk. Yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes. Grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers, and think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use. Okay, it's your turn. Practice. If you see, we have a lot of vocabulary. Mucho vocabulary. But before we proceed to participate, let me check the attendance. Vamos a pasar la lista. Please say here and present. Yesenia dice, me saca de la clase y no la escucho. Wow. Yesenia, ¿será que volvió a entrar, Yesenia? Recuerden que cuando estoy compartiendo me cuesta ver los mensajitos y algunas cámaras. Pero aquí vamos. Let's check the attendance list. Here we go. Let me look. Wait. Solo encuentro mi lista de asistencia. Aquí estamos. Grupo de las 9 y 10. Ok. Empiezo con Adriana. Adriana Gretel González. Present. Great. Ana Karina Orellana. Present. Ana María Saz. Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Present. Carlos Alberto Villalobos. I'm here. Cristian Adonai Ramírez. Present teacher. Cristelia Rosalina Jiménez. Present teacher. Cristian Alberto Reyes. Present. Edgar Francisco Galeano.
Ahí está Edgar, quizás tiene problemas con el micrófono. Eric Sigifredo Hernández. Sí. Ok, Eric, ahí está, muy bien. Jennifer Mercedes Hernández. Presente. Joaquín Antonio Chévez. I'm here, teacher. Great. Joana Beatriz Rivas. Joana. Ok. Jorge Alberto Hernández. Present. Excelente. José Armando Hernández. Present, teacher. Excelente. Juana Beatriz Díaz. Present, teacher. Catherine Larisa Sánchez. Present, teacher. Kevin Alexander Hernández. Here. Marlon Ovidio Escalante. Present. Rebeca Abigail Calderón. Present, teacher. Right. Roxana Beatriz Marroquín. Okay. Yo creo que aquí está. Present. Ahí está, Roxana. Sí, ahora Present, está teacher. Ahí está, muy bien. Samuel Eduardo Pineda. Present, teacher. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Y Yesenia Claribel Cruz Díaz. Yesenia, ¿será que puede entrar Yesenia? Pero sí estaba, ¿verdad? Sí, pero se volvió a salir. Se volvió a salir, ¿verdad? Bien, class, let's continue. And look, look, ando con gripe, un poco de gripe, así que por si me escuchan estornudar o apagar la cámara rapidito es por eso, pero no aquí estamos, no importa la gripe, aquí estamos ok, so class, food vocabulary si se fijan, tenemos mucho vocabulario, please go and visit the platform listen to the vocabulary and practice the pronunciation a veces una hora no es suficiente para memorizar toda la pronunciación. Así que vamos y repasemos siempre ese vocabulary. Food pyramid. Aquí tenemos la food pyramid. Look. I have it bigger and we have different sections. Section number one that is, I guess it's pink or red. ¿Qué color ven la primera sección? Red or pink? Pink. Pink, right? Ok, pink. entonces aquí estoy viendo. Pink. El otro grupo me dijo red. Yo, ay. Mis lentes Perfect. están fallando, pero no. So, first section, fat, oil, and sugar. This is the first section, like the top of the pyramid. Okay, la parte de arriba. Look at the vocabulary. We have cream, butter, candy, oil, and potato chips. Cream, butter, candy, oil, and potato chips. Do you know the meaning of this vocabulary? O alguna palabra que no esté clara. O todas las palabras si están claras, chicos. Vocabulary. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. What is the meaning of butter? Mantequilla. Okay, mantequilla. How about Potato chips. Papas fritas. Mm, papas not really. Fritas. Sí son papas, papas pero no son fritas. Sí, son son como snack. Snack, exactly. Las papitas que vienen en bolsa. Son como frituras. Ajá, papas fritas. How do we say papas fritas in English? French. Ay, French, French fries. French fries. fries. Mm. French fries. Y creo que también irían ahí, ¿verdad? Frituras, tal vez. French fries. French fries. Very good. So that is different vocabulary. First section, fat, oil, and sugar. And then we have second and third section. Can you identify the vocabulary for, from this section? Meat and other protein. Veamos. Vocabulary. ¿Qué tenemos ahí? Fish, 
Okay, this one. Can you repeat this one, class? X. 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 Fish. 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 Muy buena pronunciación. Fish. Me encanta. Chicken. X and Chicken. Can you identify this one? What is the meaning of nuts? Nueces. Mm, okay, nueces. No. Bien. And then we have dairy. Dairy product. Don't confuse dairy. Dairy no es diario. No, no significa eso. ¿Qué significa entonces dairy? Let's take a look at the example. Lácteos. Muy bien, lácteos. No es diario. Okay? Dairy product. You go to the supermarket to get dairy products. So, look at some examples. Estos son algunos ejemplos. Hay muchos más, obviamente. Milk, yogurt. No es yogurt. Yogurt is Spanish. English, yogurt. Yogurt. And sheets. Sheets. Excellent. Look at the other sections that we have. Fruit. Fruit. Who can read the fruit examples? The section fruit examples. Go, Catherine. Go. Catherine Larissa. Uh, bananas, orange, apples, strawberries, mangoes. Mangoes, okay. Oranges, oranges. Remember that this is plural. Oranges. Oranges, very good. And we have vegetables. Vegetables. Marlon, help me out, please. Vegetables and examples. Um, tomato, coconut, um, po potatoes, tomato. <laughs> Crotish, lettuce, broccoli. Mm -hmm. Okay, class. Lettuce. Lettuce. Ah, lettuce. Lettuce, potatoes, tomatoes, broccoli, and carrots. Miren, broccoli en inglés va con doble C. En español, ¿lo escribimos con doble C o no? Double C, no, right? Broccoli. No, broccoli. solo una C. Yeah, we just add one. C, but in English, double C, broccoli, aquí está. Broccoli, very good, broccoli. And what are we missing? Look at the two sections that we are missing. Grain, well, it's only one actually, it's solo una. Grains, but we have a lot of vocabulary, grains. Bread, cereal, crackers, Rice, noodles, and pasta. Do you know what is the meaning of crackers? What is a cracker? Galleta. Okay, I know that it's galleta, but what kind of cookie is this one? ¿Qué tipo de galleta es esta? ¿A cuáles la llamamos crackers y a cuáles cookies? Vamos. A las cookies son las que llevan dulce. Salada. Bien, excelente. Sí, sí. Si se fijan, sabemos bastante de inglés, solo que a veces no sabemos que tenemos toda esa información guardada. Crackers serían galletas saladas. En cookies, se llamaríamos a las galletas dulces. Ok. Cookies. So, which one do you prefer? Crackers or cookies? Which ones do you like more? Cookies. Cookies, right? Cookies. Yeah, cookies. Cookies. Creo que consumimos más cookies que crackers. And the same noodles. Look, noodles. There are some other ways to call noodles. ¿De qué otra forma le conocemos a los noodles? Macarrones. Uh -huh. Espagueti. 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 Espagueti, yeah. right? And we also say pasta, pasta, okay, pasta. So don't forget, go and practice, practice the vocabulary. Alguna palabra que tengamos que repasar ahorita, pronunciation, class. Vamos, es hora de repasar pronunciation. Uh, teacher, how do you say 
zanahoria. Zanahoria, ok. Carrots. 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 Suena carrots. como E, como carrots. Lechuga. Lechuga. Lettuce. 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 Mm -hmm. Lettuce. Crackers, rice, noodles. This is just pronunciation. In this one, please don't forget this one. Yogurt. Yogurt. Spanish, yogurt. English, yogurt. Okay. Yogurt. Very good. So, likes and dislikes. From this food pyramid class. Veamos. What do you like from here and what you don't like? Look, I have my example here about things that I like and things that I don't like. For example, I like rice, I like potato chips, and I like carrots. I don't like fish, I don't like cheese, and I don't like bananas. This is just an example, okay? Because I love banana, cheese, and fish. But this is just an example. I like, I don't like. How about you, class? What do you like and what you don't like when talking about food? Estamos hablando de comida, okay? What do you like and what you don't like, okay? Let's bring it back, the, okay, the vocabulary, and tell me. I like, I don't like. Here we go. Who wants to participate? I like, and you give me like one or two examples. And then, I don't like. Y me dan uno o dos ejemplos también. I like, I don't like. Sandra, thank you. Go ahead, Sandra. Sus ejemplos, go. I like, I don't like. I like bananas. And I like um, candies. Okay. And I don't like um, vegetables. Vegetables. Uh, vegetables. Like vegetables. And I don't like um, um, strawberries. Strawberries. Excellent. Cristelia, how about you? Give me your example. I like uh, eggs. I like bananas. I don't like milk. You don't like milk? Any kind of milk? Don't. No, okay. Mm -hmm. You don't like milk, very good. How about you, Jorge? And then Rebecca. In my case, I like milk, I like cheese, and I like beef. And I don't like Pasta, noodles, and cereal. And cereal, okay. Rebecca. I like nuts. I like potato chips. Okay, great. I like strawberries. I like mangoes. I don't like butter. I don't like oil. You don't like oil, very good. Juana, and then Samuel. I, I like. <laughs> okay. Juana, and then Samuel, okay. Vamos, Juana. Thank you, Samuel. <laughs> Yay. I like bananas. I like apples. I like chicken. I not like. Mm, broccoli. I I no like. I don't like. I no like. Así. Don't don't don't. Ah, don't like. Así. Sí. Don't. Listen. Don't or do not. La forma corta es don't. La forma larga do not. Do not. Nudes, no, 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 no,
not like pasta. Pasta. Very good. Now, Samuel. Uh, I like strawberries. I like yogurt. Uh, I like bread with butter. Oh, yeah, right. Delicious. And I don't like pastas. You don't like pasta, okay? So, this is the time to practice, you know? We're going to get together in groups and please tell your classmates what do you like and what you don't like. Let's compare this image in WhatsApp so you can practice. Please, speak in time and everybody participate. Nadie callado, okay? Todos practicando. Here we go. You can join now. Vamos, unámonos al grupo ya. Here we go. Very good. I like, I don't like. This is what we're going to practice. I like, I don't like. Five or six minutes to practice right now. Let me send you the picture. I'm just missing Roxana and Ana Karina. Roxana, and here we go, muy bien. I like, I don't like. I like, I don't like. Go, guys. Who is the first one? Quien empieza? So, well, I like to. I don't, I don't, damn. Um, <laughs> I like orange juice and I like mango. I don't like kiwi. Hate this, and I like vegetable. That's it. Okay, Mario. Uh, Who's next? Choose one of your classmates. We have Catherine and Eric. Um, Okay, Eric, okay, tell go. me. Go, Eric, you can do it. Um, I like um, strawberry. Mm -hmm. I like uh, fish. I like mangoes. Mangoes, okay. Mangoes. Uh, I like orange. I like um, um, uh, pat patatas. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah. Este, I don't like milk. You don't like milk, huh? Really? Interesting. <laughs> I don't like. Cream. What? Cream. Cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like uh, broccoli. You like broccoli, okay. okay. Excellent. Uh, so great. Very good so pronunciation. Muy bien. Estamos muy bien, Eric. So who's next? Elija alguien y continúe, okay? And welcome, Elgar. Aquí tenemos a Elgar ya, okay? Continue, guys. Continue practicing. I like apples. Carne, parece. Beef, mm. es carne de res y meat, es carne normal, parece. Apples, beef. Yeah, that's beef. right. Excellent, someone. That's correct. And I don't like milk and potatoes. Well, yeah. Continue. Continue. Uh, I like strawberry. Uh, I like yogurt. I like broccoli. I I dance I dance pasta y, and noodles. And noodles. Uh, Carlos, what 
food do you like? Hey, I like bean soup, candies, and pasta. Uh, I don't like yogurt. Um, my brother don't don't like fish. Mm -hmm. My my son likes um milk and potato, but he don't like onion and candies. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like. He doesn't like. Excellent job. He doesn't, he doesn't like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm, you know, grains. I like crackers. Okay. Thank you. Um, what don't like? Okay. I don't like uh, carrot, noodle, and pasta. Thanks. And you, Kevin, Alexander? Uh, well, uh, in my case, uh, I like apples, I like uh, lettuce, I like candies, I like uh, butter, and I don't like fish. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're doing a great thank job. Great pronunciation, guys. Continue. Okay, likes and dislikes, likes and dislikes. Very good. You were doing a great job, okay? Great pronunciation and great usage of like and dislike. So, están haciendo muy bien. O sea, vamos a ver acá, likes and dislike. Look, I like, I don't like. Siempre que estamos haciendo un listado, in this case, we are making a list. Some of you were mentioning a lot of things that you like and you don't like. Siempre que tengamos una lista de cosas que nos gustan o en cualquier caso que estemos enlistando, don't forget. Necesitamos separarlos por comas. Y el último, en este caso el último, la última cosa que vamos a mencionar siempre va a ir precedido por and. And, for example, I like bananas, comma, I like carrots, and let's say cookies. Si se fijan, comma, y el último tiene que ir antes, and in the case that we are just mentioning one example, Miren, podemos hacer I like candies y contrastar, but I don't like, I don't like broccoli. Miren, I like candies, I don't like broccoli. Yes, Joaquín, tell me. Teacher, eh, una consulta, ¿cómo se pronuncia la coma en inglés? Igual o diferente. Es igual, coma, coma, sí, suena igual, coma. Ok, ok, gracias. Thanks. You're welcome. Muy bien. Siempre preguntemos, ok, cualquier cosita del inglés es necesario saberlo, ok, coma. So, I like bananas, carrots, and cookies. I like candies, but I don't like broccoli, ok. Eso es cuando queremos contrastar cosas que sí nos gustan, pero que hay otras que no nos gustan. I like, I don't like, I don't like. Let me see, let me have. 
uh, the last two volunteers. Veamos, Eric, tell me about your likes and dislikes. Go, Eric. What do you I like and like. what you don't like? Mm -hmm. Go. I like right. Right. I like um, um, pata, potatoes chip. Mm -hmm. Potato chips. Potato chip. I like carrots. Okay, carrots. And I don't like or bad, I don't like. And I don't like fish. I don't like cheese. Mm -hmm. And don't like bananas. Bananas, very good class. I like, I don't like. What if we want to express? ¿Qué si queremos expresar por ahí? Vi un grupo que estamos practicando muy bien. Hablando de alguien más. He, she, or it. We are going to use the expression. Likes. Likes. Pongámosle carrots. Likes, ¿ok? En negative, en negativo, cambia el auxiliar por does not. Or the short form, doesn't. Ok. Doesn't like. Eh, no sé si soy yo, pero no miro hasta abajo. La última línea. No se logra ver. Hasta abajo. No se logra ver. Bien, hagámoslo entonces en la pizarra. Thank you. Eso es bueno que me digan, ¿ok? Let's go to the whiteboard. Aquí sí tenemos más espacio. Likes and dislikes. Once again, lo escribo. Don't worry. Here we go. Likes and dislikes. For he, she, and it. Que le llamamos en inglés como la tercera persona. For affirmative, we are going to use likes. Le agregamos S, ok? And the example that I was giving you is carrots. He, she, or it likes carrots. ¿Por qué it? Porque podemos estar hablando de algún animal también, ok? In the case of negative, en lo negativo, ¿cómo sería? Auxiliary does not doesn't like carrots. Look. Affirmative, negative. Affirmativo, likes. Negative, doesn't like. Okay, muy bien. Like, doesn't like. How about for the, uh, this is a third person. Look, I, you, we and they. ¿Qué usamos clase? Es sí. el ejemplo que acabamos de hacer. I, Do, I, like. I like. Lo mismo que acabamos de hacer ahorita en el ejemplo. I like fish, I like milk, I like bananas. Ok, singular y plural. Negative, en negativo, ¿cómo sería entonces? Don't, don't, I don't like, I don't like or do not like. Carrots, que arriba era plural, ok. Carrots, so, lo mismo usamos, misma fórmula que vamos a usar para afirmativo, negativo. Third person and I, you, we and they. Clase, ¿está clara cómo vamos a usar el tipo de fórmula para likes and dislikes? ¿Sí? ¿Cómo lo vamos a expresar? Yes or no? Sí. Yes or not? She? Yes. Yes. yes or not? She likes milk. She doesn't like cake. Okay. Like and dislike. Like 
and dislike. So, si está claro, vamos a la plataforma nuevamente because we have another video. The second video for this class, it's related to food, but look, we are going to use some grammar. Le vamos a agregar un poquito de gramática. No está tan difícil, pero tiene que ver con comida. Here we go. Look. Four point, it's four point three. Count and non-count nouns. Pongamos la atención al video, okay? Here we go. The next. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is okay, this concept of... Okay, let me go back. Of... Let me go back to the conversation. The first thing that I would like to explain... Let's buy some potato salad. Why? Can you identify... Food in the conversation. ¿Qué tipo de comida mencionan en la conversation? Go class, speaking time. Sandwich. Sandwich. Chicken. Sandwich. Bread. Salad. We have some sandwiches. Bread. Some. Kitchen. Kitchen mm -hmm. or chicken? Chicken. Chicken. Esta, chicken. Some chicken. What else? Bread. Oh, bread. Yes, continue. Cheese. Cheese. Any drink. Drink. Some. Lemonade. 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 Some. Potato, potato salad. salad. And at the end, potato salad. Yes. Oh. So look at the expressions. Estas expresiones, si no tenemos tiempo ahora, next class la vemos. Some sandwiches. Some chicken. Any bread, any cheese, any drink, some lemonade, some potato salad, and some, well, at the end, salad, okay? So those expressions are very important. So let's continue with the video. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches we can count eggs and sandwiches non count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count for example liquids such as water lemonade milk etc on the chart you can see a couple of examples bread lemonade let's take a look at all the examples on this chart some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. 
Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Okay, time to practice. So count and non count nouns. In English, como escucharon, we have two types of nouns countables and non countables. And we were, uh, we had some examples in the video. Veamos, dijimos que los non count, those nouns that are impossible to count. No podemos contarlo porque es imposible. Look. Liquids. Can you give me examples of liquids? Water. Water. Yes. Milk. Milk. Tea. Exactly. Tea. Vamos, speaking time. Everybody, give me examples. Soda. 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 We can yes. sell soda. Juice. Coffee. Tea. Coffee. Tea. And any other. What else yes. we can oh, count? Yes. yes. Okay. ¿Qué más no podemos contar? Look. Uh, oh, yeah. Rice. Right. Rice, Ear. exactly. Sugar. Oh, sugar. Salt. Ear. Salt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The anterior, no escuché bien. Salt. Ear. Aire. Ah, the air. Ear. Yeah, air. Air. Yeah, but in this case, yes. um, we were talking about food. Food. Vamos con los ejemplos de food. Beans. Muy bien, class. Okay. And some others. Hay muchísimos más. So countables, los que sí podemos contar. Vamos, class. Give me example. Carrots. Chicken. Eggs. Carrots. Chicken. Eggs. Pig. Did you say pig? Onion. Egg. Potato. Egg. Or eggs. Carrots. Eggs. Tomatoes. Bien. Good. Tomatoes. What else? Potatoes. Apple. Apples. Banana. Bananas as well. Grapes. Grapes. Watermelon. Oops. Mrs. Bell. Grapes. And we have a lot of vocabulary. Grapes, cookies, crackers. A lot of vocabulary. So, non-countables. Pero entonces, si no se pueden contar como los expreso en inglés. Si quieren volver los contables, podemos usar expresiones. We can add some expressions. For example, a cup, a bottle. Okay, bottle. Zero. Um, ¿Qué más? A glass. Miren, por ejemplo, en los líquidos. A cup of water. A bottle of milk, a glass of juice. Y ahí ya se están convirtiendo en contables. Los contables, I'm sorry, los incontables, podemos volver los contables si agregamos una expresión al inicio. Bien, a glass of, a cup of water, a bottle of milk, a glass of of juice of juice okay no sé sea que también se pueden volver contables en el caso de que no son líquidos podríamos tener a piece of un pedazo de una rebanada de um, qué más Usemos esas dos ahorita. A piece of. A slice of. Ok. Para volverlos contables. Por ejemplo. No tenemos acá. Bread. Agreguemos bread al final. Bread. Pan. We can say a piece of bread. Or a slice of bread. O otro ejemplo que tenemos también que no se puede contar, cake. A piece of cake, a slice of cake. So, countables, non-countables. Los que sí podemos contar y los que no podemos contar. Countables and non-countables. So, let me go back to this picture. 
and give me some examples. Deme ejemplos, cosas que sí se pueden contar y que no. Vamos, butter, countable or non-countable class? Butter, butter. Non-countable. Great, bananas. Countable. countable. Strawberries. Countable. Bread. Not countable. Yes, this is for everybody, todos participando. Okay, let me do something. Quiero verlo. Broccoli. Contable. Contable. Tomatoes. Contable. Water. No contable. Coffee. No contable. Juice. No contable. Okay. Um, broccoli. Countable. Countable and non-countable. Countable and non-countable. Great. So countables and non-countable. So let's go back to the example. Countables and non-countable. So we can use some examples of this vocabulary to create sentences. Veamos. Look, some and any. This is the topic that we were covering. Some and any. We are going to use this expression with count and non-count nouns. Meaning some, algunos. Any. Puede ser también algunos o ninguno. But before, antes que nos metamos a las reglas gramaticales, veamos esta explanation. Look, I want you to look at this one. Para hacerlo mucho más claro y mucho más fácil de memorizar. The main difference between some and any. As a general rule, we use some for affirmative sentences. Solamente necesitamos. And any for questions in negative sentences. Así los podemos distinguir fácilmente. Vamos a usar some para qué? Affirmative. Sentence affirmative. Uh -huh. Solo affirmative. Está muy fácil de distinguir. Y vamos a usar any for questions or negative. O sea, para ambos casos. Questions in negative. Questions in negative. Now, look at the example. Do we need any X? Miren el primer ejemplo. Sería afirmative, interrogative, or negative. Veamos el primer ejemplo. ¿Qué identifican? Esto es que una negativa. Pregunta, okay. Question. Question. It's a question. Negative question. It's a, question. Well, it's not negative. No es negativo. Simplemente es una pregunta. 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 So, do we need any X? Necesitamos algunos. No me confundan tampoco. No es que any signifique que está en negativo la oración. No. Lo que nos va a indicar si es afirmativa o negativa la oración va a ser el auxiliar. Don't. Pero aquí no tenemos ningún auxiliar negativo. Solo... El auxiliar que nos indica la pregunta, do we need any eggs? Necesitamos huevos. Do we need any eggs? Remember, for questions and negatives, we are going to use any. Let's go to the second one. Veamos la segunda. Let's get some ed, eggs. Mm -hmm. Esa es una afirmativa. Como es afirmativa que vamos a usar, Some. 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 Look, negative desde el inicio está diciendo un no. No, we don't need. ¿Qué vamos a usar para los casos negativos? Any. Any. Interrogative. En negative. Vamos a usar any. Y para todas nuestras oraciones afirmativas, some. Some. Sigamos, do we need any bread? Do we need any bread? Es pregunta, usamos que any. 
any. Bien, mira la siguiente expresión, empieza con algo afirmativo. Yes. Let's get some bread. And the last one, no. We don't need any bread. Mm -hmm. So, ¿cuál sería en sí el significado si queremos asociarlo con el español? ¿Qué significaría son y qué significa any? Vamos, class, quiero escuchar sus ideas. ¿Algún? ¿Alguno? Pero es... Any... Some, uno, para alguno, ninguno. Pero any va a significar ninguno solo cuando está en negativo. ¿Okay? Uh -huh. En el caso de que esté aquí. Si no preguntas, any serviría siempre como alguno. Uh -huh. Muy bien. En el caso de que esté en interrogativo, any va a significar algunos. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Solo si está en negativo significa ninguno. Sí, clase. Questions about this. No quiero extenderme más para que no nos confundamos. Preguntas. ¿Cómo estamos con los likes and dislikes? Eso practicamos ahora. I like. I don't like. She likes. She doesn't like. ¿Sí? Somos capaces de expresar likes and dislikes. Cuando hablamos de comida, sí o no? Yes. Yes, 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 right? No está tan difícil. Y we are fine. Yeah, we are fine with that topic. Likes and dislikes, okay. Now, countable and non-countable nouns. Vamos a seguir practicando este tema tomorrow. Countable and non-countable nouns. So, questions. Quiere escuchar comentarios, preguntas, clases. Not question. No questions, okay. Estaba viendo el video del aula y decía que a veces puede usar some, pero entonces some y any en caso de preguntas es indiferente a la hora de traducir. Vaya, pero la regla que decía en el video decía eso. Uh -huh. Estaba la palabra, la, la pregunta, do, do we need any eggs? Uh -huh. Y uh, como a la parte final decía que también puede usarse como do we need some eggs? Some and any. Y, well, not really. Let me check the video, but not. La regla general es esa. Any siempre es para negativo. Tal vez no para preguntas, sería para información en general afirmativo. We need some eggs. Uh -huh. Bueno, can you repeat, Rebeca? Creo que casi no entendí. Sí, que en el video no menciona el, el, la regla de gramática que nos acaba de explicar. Uh -huh. Entonces, esa es la, la, quizás es la confusión que ella tiene, ¿verdad? Que creía que una cosa significaba otra, pero ya con la regla de gramática, pues ya se entiende que una es para pues, eh, o, eh, pregunta o uh -huh. negativa, o, y la otra ya es para oración afirmativa. Uh -huh. Vale, vamos, si quieren, por eso les digo, a no apresurarnos con este tema. Tenemos mañana una hora también para poder ver a detalle ejemplos específicos en afirmativo, negativo y pregunta para que nos quede totalmente claro, ¿ok? Sí, Sandra, voy a, no detenidamente, tal vez puede ser que haya ese caso en el video y de que se haya explicado pues la regla de diferente manera, pero no. Créanme que la regla general, como yo la conozco, como está también en el libro, esa es afirmativo, negativo e interrogativo. Usamos para cada eh, eh, forma o una palabra en específico. Negativo, interrogativo, usamos any. Y en el caso de afirmativo, usamos some. ¿Okay? Tal vez sería de, quizás lo estamos mezclando con contables y non-contables, pero... Mañana aclaramos todas las dudas, chicos. 
Gracias por el esfuerzo de conectarse ahora. Practiquemos, siempre vayamos a practicar el vocabulario para que nuestra pronunciación con respecto a los temas de comida, lo que vimos ahora, nos quede claro, ¿ok? So, si no hay más que decir clase, thank you so much for joining. Have a great night. See you tomorrow, ¿ok? Sí, sí. Thanks very much. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night to you.